Chernigiv is a city in the north of Ukraine. It's the only region that borders both Russia and Belarus. In the first days of the full-scale invasion, the local population witnessed horrific scenes, shelling and aerial bombing, causing numerous casualties and the destruction of the once quiet city. Many people didn't have the time to escape and found themselves under occupation. Katarina is a Chernigiv resident. Like many others, she thought that the northern village would be a safe place to sit out the fighting. We were sitting in the kitchen when my brother-in-law called me. He started asking, what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? I just said that I didn't know because I was in absolute shock. I asked, well, where are you going? He said, we're going to the village where our family house is. Our family house, well, my parents' house, my mother's house. It's about 70 kilometers from Gomel. When it was still possible to escape and go south, Katarina went north. That's how her family became trapped. About an hour and a half passed. It was around two or three o'clock when the explosion started. We took all the children and moved down there to the cellar. I took all our things, all those emergency backpacks that we came with, because we had no idea how long we were going to stay there. And then the explosion started to get very close. Occupation has become one of the most difficult experiences for the residents of the Chernigiv region. We lived under occupation for at least 38 days. We counted every day. God forbid anyone has to live through this. God forbid. Wherever you look, they're everywhere and that's it. What can you do? 26th of February, three days but feels like three years. The whole family, ten people, hiding out in the house or in the basement. As soon as we hear explosions, everyone goes down to the basement. 27th of February, the tiniest noise makes us shiver. We keep our shoes on inside the house. Today, I fell asleep wearing my coat. We are ready to start running down to the basement at any second. 28th of February, today, the explosions were incredibly close. A plume of black smoke stretched over terrifying. One year ago, on the 6th of April, the last remaining occupants were pushed out of the Chernigov region and the area began to recover. The soldiers who took part in the defense of the city now serve at the northern border to ensure that last year's events will never happen again. Here you feel that your relatives are close by and are in actual danger. You are responsible not only for yourself, but also for your loved ones. The conclusion is that you have to keep the gunpowder dry, the army motivated, armed and combat ready.